with me uh, today here at uh, Boundary Park is Mark Cass, the assistant coach at, uh, at uh, Oldham. Mark, Shalston are unbeaten in all competitions so far this season and of course they have disposed of professional opposition in the past so you won't be taking them lightly. No, not, not, not whatsoever. Um, obviously, you know, as a player myself, during my time at Battle, you know, I got beat by, a, by an amateur side as well. So I know from first hand, you know, that it's not going to be an easy game. Um, and, you know, Charleston have beat Jules in previous Challenge Cup, so we know, we know we're going to be under the pump. And they are a, a quite a good side and they're doing extremely well in their respective league at the moment. Yeah, I mean, obviously, again, going back to myself, I've played against them this year, um, obviously on the amateur side for us at Old Boys. So I know, you know, I know a bit about them. You know, I'm obviously being from Leeds, you know, I'm, I'm quite a, a local lad to, to, the, to the team. Um, you know, they're, they're going really well in their, in their competitions. Yeah, and of course, um, it's quite easy uh, for professional sides to be, to get caught out, you know, because they get a little bit complacent, and I'm sure that you've spoken to your lads about that. Yeah, you know, complacency is the, is the worst thing you can ever happen, and I think we've showed them the, the, the respect that they deserve, um, you know, and we'll go out and play with that respect, um, and, you know, we'll, I think we'll just have enough to come through. All of them are playing out of their skins at the moment, you know, the, the top of the Northern Rail, and they beat some good sides in Widnes, uh, Unslet last week. I went to watch them last week, and you know they're a big unit, a good set. So we know how tough it's going to be today, but our lads are up and ready for it. And they're not taking you that lightly because uh, the key positions in the side, like the half backs, hooking roll, certainly loose forward, um, they're actually playing their regular players. They've, they've actually moved one or two other players about and brought some fringe players in, but in the major positions, they, you know, they're having to strengthen up there. Well, they can't really afford, afford to go under strength. They've got to go with the best side, really, Dave, because, you know, we're a great side. We're unbeaten. We, we haven't been beaten in 22 games, which it, it might be amateur, but it's a big achievement. And uh, any, any coach that took that start of the year to go and beat, and it's amazing what, what them guys have done in there, mate. We did actually come to our game at Drigg last week. Right. Uh, me and Tony Benson came and, uh, you know, watched the game. It, it, it was a very good game, you know. Drigg, Drigg sort of, like, edged the first half, but, you know, Chelsea come out in the second half and showed what a, what a class side they are by you know overturning it and running probably 30 odd points in the second half. Yeah, it was a, a great second half performance from Chelsea. And, and you know, did you learn anything from that? You know, from watching that game in terms of who might be able to prize open your defence? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, there's there's a number of players. You know, you can go to probably you know Craig Miles. You know, being an ex-professional, obviously, I've played against him, so I know a little bit about him. Um, but there's there's players all over the park. You know, there, there's some very good players in in the amateur side. So you know, you can't just look at one player, you've got to look at the full side. Charleston is strong and fit, Gordy, as, as you well know, and we've seen that in the games that we've watched, but surely a professional side uh, should be even stronger and fitter with the use of better facilities, obviously. Do you think that aspect will have, will have a bearing on the game? Not really. I, I don't see it as it does, because it's, it's 80 minutes rugby out there, and they're probably trained three hours more than us a week, which it's not a lot. And uh, the guys at Charleston train and they've trained like they haven't trained before they've been, we've got them fit they're training out the skins and they're ready to go today we've got to play at the same standards we played against Widnes um, and show the respect that show the respect to Charleston you know and hopefully that will come you know we'll come out on top on that the players who don't have a professional background background will relish the thought of actually playing here at a professional stadium this afternoon it's brilliant for them that's what I keep saying to them Dave even before we set off You've got to enjoy the day, every minute of it, from setting off to playing to the after, and just give it your best shot, you know, control ball. And we'll, we'll be in with a shout today, we'll, we'll be there and thereabouts. We've got out infuse them, like you say. They're probably bigger, stronger, but if we out infuse them and get into the faces, uh, I'm sure we can do a job today. And for them young lads who haven't played against a professional outfit before, it's going to be a great day for them. I'm sure if everything goes to plan, there could be a shock on the cards, couldn't there? Well, it's happened before. You, you know, you, you could ask uh, Jubilee and Andy Fisher for that. We've been there and turned them over. Nobody expected that, but you know, we showed that on his day, and it's a big thing to say. But I think we're a better side than than what actually played when we played Jubilee. I'm sure because your record in the league speaks for itself. I mean, and you've had some marvellous performances, and, and and I'm sure that things can happen. And I hope it does for Charleston's point of view, for you and the lads and everything, because it'll be a wonderful achievement. So all the best for this afternoon. Thanks a lot, Dave.